Number 1. Lake Van. The largest body of water in Turkey, this triangular-shaped lake contains salt water that is unsuitable for drinking or irrigation. The only life form that can survive in the water is a species of freshwater fish called Direct that has adapted to live in a saline environment. Number 2. Optimar Island. This island located in the Salty Lake Van is home to the Church of the Holy Cross and some Armenian monastery ruins. The boat trip across is great. May have to wait a while for other people to turn up to fill the boat, but opposite the road a lovely restaurant for K and toilets. Short crossing to the island and the church is stunning. Lovely relief on the outside and the inside is cooling. Number 3. Holy Cross Church. Located on the Octomar Island in Lake Van, this cathedral is significant because it is the only surviving medieval Armenian church in which most of the wall paintings are still intact. This marvelous Armenian church can only be reached by boat to the small island it occupies. The external carvings are really superb and the interior while not comparable is extremely attractive and interesting. A must-see attraction which when I visited, was enjoyed by just two people. Number 4. Van Castle. Yet another interesting castle, but with really splendid views, as well as the masonry features, there are also mud brick towers with timber revetment. Apart from the castle, there is also the platform of a Urartian temple, some of the blocks weighing circa 40 tons. There is a really good view over the old city of Van which was destroyed in World War I. Number 5. Hosap Castle. Easy to get on your own to get a van and being dropped off near Hosap. Beautiful but right now it is being restored so you cannot access every part. I met no guard as the castle was open, just a few employees that were really friendly. To go from Hosap to Kavastepe, you can ask the locals and they will kindly help you getting a bus, plus they always smile. Number 6. House of Van Cats. This research institute was founded in 1992 with the goal of protecting the Van Cat from gradual extinction. This makes for an interesting visit if you're into cats. They are cute. Number 7. Ancient Urartian site of Kavastepe. Kavastepe is over 2,000 years old so don't arrive expecting substantial remains. What has been excavated along the ridge top can be tricky to interpret, for instance we assumed initially that the carefully finished stone work was modern infill, but the guide told us it was in fact the oldest work. When we visited in September 2014 we were not allowed to continue beyond the temple foundations. And archaeological dig was in progress, and apparently some of the archaeologists had been upset by visitors climbing on fragile walls and destroying them. Number 8. Maradoye Selslisi. Lovely waterfall and popular with newlyweds for photos. So look out for bride and grooms everywhere. Walk across a wooden suspension bridge from the car park to get excellent views from a cafe across from the waterfall. Number 9. Jumhuriyet Jadesi. Jumhuriyet Jadesi of Van is the area for shopping and eating. There are some restaurants which serve traditional Turkish food, and you can enjoy shopping here, too. There is a big ABM, bookstores, and sweets shop. Worth visiting and spending your day here. There are some money exchange along the road, but they don't accept JPY. Number 10. Old Van. Two main shopping streets full of modern shops in this city rebuilt since the earthquake, lots of pleasant parks to sit and drink tea and watch Turkish life, the older part houses things like the cheese market, breakfast shops and everyday life going on as normal in the back streets, largely Kurdish part of this lovely modern city, well worth a visit. Hope you like this video. For more videos please subscribe to our channel.